So what a difference a year makes. We are one year, uh, now part of AMD, 200 customers uh, in production and in deployment with our innovations. Uh, and uh, we are able to handle all the supply chain requests that are coming in from our customers, ship and delivery on time in a much more scalable manner, and winning new customers every single day. We are uh, in production at scale within multiple cloud providers. I'll start with Oracle Cloud infrastructure, where we are powering and future-proofing the Oracle Cloud for 100 gig and 200 gig, accelerating software-defined networking services almost 5x from their traditional suppliers that were in place prior, and giving them a future-proof architecture in which we co-innovate and act very cooperatively between our engineering teams to not only deliver software-defined networking and all the enhancements of new services, combine that with line rate encryption services, again, on the unified DPU stack, and have the ability to deliver new innovations like storage acceleration, which is around the corner. Uh, we already are in production at scale within IBM's cloud for bare metal offerings and enabling their customers for VPC equivalent services today. Uh, and the next stop for us will be to continue to innovate and deliver for them with a system solution approach. Also the same services for VSI, their virtualized service integration. So that is very, very exciting for us. Moving on to Microsoft Azure, we are in public preview with the appliance, the smart appliance, where they have taken our DPU and our entire software, software-defined networking assets to deliver limitless networking to Azure customers. Uh, ever since we have been in public preview, they have seen a 100x improvement in their connections per second and the ability for them to handle millions of flows, stateful flows, that they have the ability to have simultaneous new connections that can be retained and the flow synchronization allows them to build a very highly available architecture without making any changes to the existing networks within Azure, but delivering to their customers all of these services at scale uh, and with no impact to the delivery of the services from a high availability perspective. We are very excited with uh, VMware's distributed services engine implementation, where they have taken the, if you're, you're a VMware first customer, what VMware has enabled is they have, they have taken their hypervisor and their NSX, their network virtualization assets, moved them and accelerated the ability for the DPU to subsume and accelerate those functions within the P4 subsystem while enabling the customers to protect their investments in their VMware assets in terms of maintaining the same operational and orchestration models for those VMware first customers using this virtualized distributed services engine. Now, when you marry this architecture with AMD Genoa-based CPUs and you acquire those assets and bring those two, the DPU assets and the VMware on Genoa-based servers, as customers, we are seeing them showing up to a 3x improvement in application performance, almost a 1.75x improvement in networking performance, and their ability to save 12 cores, which ultimately can be preserved for running their applications and not having to pay more license fees to their uh, virtualization partner. Now, for those customers that are looking for the same DPU capabilities, but in a brownfield environment, we have collaborated with Aruba to bring a data center smart switch into market. And today, what we shared, or what we heard from our customer like DXC, is by moving to this architecture, it has allowed them to have up to a $65 million savings as they retire their legacy appliances and yet deliver a security-first micro-segmentation and east-west firewall uh, segmentation capabilities on every port uh, that they're connecting their servers into in a top of rack topology. And as we deliver IPsec and NAT for those co-location edge facilities, they have the ability to build very secure on-ramp and off-ramps in and out of the cloud. So for the first time, enterprise customers can treat security and networking as first-class citizens with our DPU assets being brought to them both for VMware first customers, as well as for customers that are looking for this innovation in smart switches. What's next, I would say, is the ability to go and win more customers uh, and to continue to be on this innovation track that we have been, where every two years we deliver on the competitive advantage we have in our ASICs, which is multi-generational in nature, 
today we have also launched Gilio, which is the next step beyond Elba. Uh, and our customers can get to not only enjoy all the attributes of the software stack, which is fully compatible as they move from Elba, from Elba to Gilio, where it's just a recompilation of the software stack, but they also get 30% more performance and 20% less power consumptions. Uh, that is one thing. The second thing we are doing is we are democratizing the ability for a broader base of customers to take advantage of a very mature software and silicon development kit where we have taken a true systems approach. We have built all the high availability attributes, uh, flow sync attributes into the platform software, given them more P4 sample code so that now they can take their innovation, their custom logic, and move it into our DPU and accelerate their development and time to market advantages. So stay tuned as more and more customers uh, come forward uh, just as they have today. Uh, and there's much more to come.